New this morning, a fire district in Southern Johnson County could be merging with two others. As cities expand, it's harder for fire district number two in the unincorporated part of the county to get the tax revenue it needs to stay open. Let's get to our 41 first look with reporter Charlie Keegan joining us with what this merger means for firefighters in the district now. Charlie. Lindsay and Taylor, the employees working here now will end up working for other departments. Fire District Number Two wants to merge with Overland Park Fire and Fire District Number One. So the chiefs of all three of these fire departments are working out a way so the employees here of Fire District Number Two can transition to those other two departments, you know, and make sure that they transfer with their same rank that they have now and even with a similar pay that they're making right now. All the firefighters are in the state retirement system, so that kind of uh, pension or retirement program should transfer it without any problem. But when I spoke with the fire chief here at district number two, he said there's a lot of pride in the employees who have worked here for years and years, which will make transitioning to a new department a true challenge for those employees. So it's, it's very difficult when you're talking about what the future and we're having difficult conversations about how this fire district evolves into the future. And some of those changes we're talking about is maybe people are going to have to work for another department to, to remain employed. So there is some recent precedence for departments merging here in Johnson County, all within the past 10 years or so. Uh, Overland Park took over Merriam, for example, and then uh, the Gardner Fire District uh, merged with District Number 1. So there has been some experience of this happening here within these departments, which should make it a smooth transition when it all takes place here at Fire District Number 2. Reporting live in Stillwell, Kansas, I'm Charlie Keegan, 41 Action News Today. Okay, Charlie, thank you.